Hey y'all, it's Maxine, your favorite wine specialist, guiding you on your journey through fine wine. And it is Monday, so you know that it is Monday Wine Q&A, so let's hop right into it. And if you are new to my channel, you don't know who this is. This is my best friend, Ariel. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so excited to have her back. If you watch the Bestie Q&A with Lauren, she put out a challenge so yes. don't worry you're gonna see us again in the same outfits next week don't worry right. Shout out to Lauren. <laughs> but anyway that's not what we're talking about right now but if you have missed Ari Hill has been with us on the brown estates um a lot of you all have been checking the booth Clico video she was with me on that we'll be there in June so if you are new, you are not familiar, or you want to catch up, check out those videos featuring her. So, you know, the excitement, and we're so excited to have her yeah. back. Um, new set, new life. Right, right. Everything. Looks great. Happy to be back. <laughs> nice. So, so, here's the thing. I'm going to tell you how this day went, guys. I was not planning on recording. I was like, oh, no, we're just going to do some old stuff, do a quick little recap. <laughs> but then something kept bothering me on what I wanted to know, and then we were supposed to be... Well, I guess well, I can say it now. We're supposed to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Y'all gonna right. see it tomorrow anyway. But <laughs> yeah. So some things change. But first, let me tell you the thing that changed is I wanted to talk about something. And then secondly, she was already at my house when I pulled up. So that was the sign. Yes. We get Aria. So yeah. Happy to be here. Okay. Now let's get into the purpose of today's video. <laughs> so one of the things that I was thinking about was as you saw um, last Friday that it was International Sauvignon Blanc Day. And on that day, we really uh, celebrate that great varietal. And I told you that Sauvignon Blanc was my favorite white wine, but when I was going through the content, that was only my second video featuring Sauvignon Blanc. So how am I gonna tell y'all that's my favorite white wine? And I haven't even featured it that much. We got all these champagne campaign videos. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> I wanted to get in on that. So let me go ahead on and introduce you guys to that. And Ariel likes Sauvignon Blanc. I told you all, when you have a Sauvignon Blanc friend, roll with it. Because they are hard yeah, to great. find. Either people like it or they don't. But you haven't had this one before. I haven't. This I haven't had this one. This tastes oh, really dope. Good. Okay, it's so this is exciting. So one of the things that I mentioned in that video was that m my favorite expression of Sauvignon Blanc comes from Sancerre. Sancerre is a French AOC and Sancerre is located in the Loire Valley of France. Sancerre is located on the left bank of the Loire River across from Puy Fume. That was another uh, area in Loire Valley that was mentioned last week. And we'll definitely have a Puy Fume like just kind of need an ode to Sauvignon Blanc right now because I'm feeling like I'm faking on y'all right now. I'm not. I promise I'm not. But <laughs> She's a real fake. She's a fake. <laughs> She's a fake. I swear I like <laughs> But so tell me a little bit more about the area. So in Sancerre, the primary grape that is grown there is Sauvignon Blanc, as mentioned. They do grow a small percentage of Pinot Noir, and that is called Sancerre Rouge. So the wine that we are enjoying today, and if you saw our previous videos, you know we'd be drinking before, but we did good today. Oh, yeah. We did good today. Early, we used to be like... <laughs> yeah. Y'all used to get a preview of what it was when we did Good time. Get. Okay, let's get to the point of this, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> so, today we are drinking Domaine Michel Gerard, the 2018 Sancerre. So, love the color of this. Nice straw color. It is just beautiful. The notes, what are you picking up? Trust yourself. Definitely some stone fruit. Definitely some stone fruit from this one. And one of the things, as I mentioned... In Sancerre, you are going to get that stone fruit. You are going to get those peach, those nectarines, those white peach. It, it just thrives on storm, stone fruit. And it's a very aromatic Sauvignon Blanc, yeah. too. It's just, it's a perfume right. uh, Sauvignon Blanc. So let's get to my favorite part, taste and cheers. Taste and cheers. Now, side note, just Don't a moment. Did you notice the difference when we had the children now? Just I a little do. bit more pronounced. Yes, yes, definitely. You want to serve your, your wines too, but definitely always kind of test that 
uh, skill just to kind of see how it tastes different. Like it still t tastes well, and I think it's a little bit more pronounced, but we had already tried it. So what you're gonna pick up from this one, I just think first bite of the peach. Yeah. Like a really nice North Carolina Georgia mm -hmm. peach with this one. Again, definitely getting that perfume of that, some citrus notes you picking up. Um, any stone, any flint, like you just lick the rock. Like think. Definitely. On the finish. Yeah, and if, I was just about to say, on the finish. It's really it light. That's another characteristic stone. of Sancerre. You are going to get those stony, flinty, uh, tasty notes of that. A little grass, just a touch of it. Yeah. Actually, Not like too much better. grass. You like it better a little bit warm? Yeah. And it's not super duper warm, guys. No. She, we just had it's it. Just, yeah. it's, it's not like room temperature. It's no, no. slightly chilled, but it is a little bit more pronounced when it's about this temperature. Especially in the States. We drink our reds too warm and our whites too cold. Mm -hmm. So when you do that test, it really shows um, just how the wine really... It, huh? what you <laughs> say? Sorry. I didn't hear what you said, but we're going to keep rolling because you know how no, I feel I was about like, it. touching all in my head. Like, I forgot I was where I was at. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I do it all the time. Don't okay. worry. <laughs> see, when y'all had that hair, it'd it be a lot. Y'all yeah, always I'm see like, me playing in my hair. But hold on, back, back to what we're doing. Very mouthful, very full body mm -hmm. uh, wine. Crisp, moderate acidity with this one. Like, this is just gorgeous. This is perfect for spring. This is a well-made expression yeah. of Sauvignon Blanc. And this is why Sancerre is my favorite area. I love Sauvignon Blancs from all other areas. But it's just so well-balanced and well-made. It is. It's just... It's just a very elegant, silky version of Savion Blanc. So I would highly encourage, if you are not a Savion Blanc fan, to start in Sancerre. You may like that style of Savion Blanc. The Drink Good Live Well rating for this one. I think we're drinking good and living well. Oh, yeah. What you say? Definitely drinking so, good. We are drink hold up, drinking good and living well. Remember drinking good and living we well. We are definitely <laughs> She watched the right wine rating video, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> <Backlash. laughs> Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are drinking good and living well with this one. Now, what are we pairing with this one? What's something that comes to mind? What do, What do you have in this with? Do you want chicken? I can see pasta, like some nice. Oh, more like the oh that oily like nice kind of pasta yeah. with some. Oh, that That's, was good. I didn't even have that on my sauce. list. I would even do just olive oil. Yeah. Oh, that was good. Mm -hmm. good. Definitely because it'll bring out the herbaceous notes of it. Oh, that was good. What kind of pasta? We'll ask Lauren. Lauren like yeah. pasta. Yeah. But something like, I'll use it. I'm not sure what my the little... sauce is called. Like but a... I wouldn't even do a sauce. No, no. It's like butter, but you know. Yes, sauce. yes. That... But mm. I don't I don't know. I'm going with the butter sauce right. on that one. Roasted chicken. I would kind of do a tofu. Mm -hmm. Real simple kind of tofu. Shrimp. Shrimp. Seafood. I'll do shrimp. Yeah. I'll do a bass. Ooh. A bass would be really nice with this. Some like some kind of green. Yeah. Oh, scallops. Scallops is a good one with that one. Angry. So, <laughs> you know, y'all know I don't like to keep videos long. So, we are going to wrap up. We're excited to have Ariel back. And you all will be seeing her for Blue Clicker. So, she'll be with us for like a whole month, y'all. Oh, so yes. She's going to disappear on us. Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> I'm only here for the summer. <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta come back in June for Fly One June. The, that's the summer. Oh, oh, she meant that. She's only here for the summer. <laughs> okay, we're wrapping this up until we meet again. Oh, you drink it. Come on. Drink good, <laughs> live well. <laughs>